Hello there guys and welcome to Daily Update. Over the weekend and yesterday there was a video that was circulating on the social media of the VIP protection units who were assaulting two guys. Those guys were driving in a VW car. They took them out of a car, put them aside in, on the side of the road and started kicking them. Kicking them on the stomach everywhere on their head. One of the guys, there were two, was left unconscious. These guys, these big guys, the VIP protection, I thought to myself when I saw the video, they were protecting a businessman or something like that who was in danger. They were carrying rifles. And then they went inside their luxurious cars, the BMW, and sped off. While one of the guys there was, was laying down unconscious. And then they went by on their way, they went away. And we started wondering because people started asking, taking the police and saying, you got to investigate this problem. Then today we hear that those people are the VIP protection units of the deputy president of South Africa. What a coincidence. How on earth can these guys take it upon themselves? Mind you, they are members of the South African police uh, services. These guys are the ones who must stay there and protect. They must serve and protect the civilians, the people of South Africa. But here they are, the protectors of corruption. They are protecting whatever, I don't know, because the deputy president was not even there. They are beating up the civilians. Thank God for the video, because if there was no video, if there was no people who are taking the video, who would have never known about this? And... I don't think this VIP protection knew who was taking the video because they would have assaulted those guys too. You go back to the issue of, are we really safe in South Africa? Here are people who are protecting the president, assaulting the civilians. And one thing I, I always complain about, this VIP protection, this blue light cars, whenever they're driving on the road, it's like they're on the road. If you don't shift, you have something coming for you. So we don't know the full story. What we know is that the deputy president issued the statement saying that um, he doesn't really accept whatever that these guys did. He condemned it at the highest uh, order. And then while he's doing that, he says that he wants uh, the people of South Africa to give the police a chance to investigate their members. They must investigate them. Peggy Keller. Fanima Simula, and then once they are done, uh, the outcome will be uh, broadcast to the people of South Africa. Not sure if they're even going to tell us the whole details, but they're saying that what well, we are going to investigate will come back to you and tell you, the people of South Africa, what really transpired. We don't need to hear what transpired. We, we want to see those guys being suspended, locked up in jail. Because if the deputy president who was not there is very important on the road, even if he's not there, to a point that these guys can assault civilians, then we'll be shot. We'll be shot at one day when we are, we, are, we are not allowing the president of South Africa to just move freely. Mind you, maybe say that the people didn't know that there was a car behind or they didn't know that it was a very a VIP car. And then they, do, they don't give it a chance. Next thing you are being pulled out on the road and then you are being assaulted. And it's not even two guys. It's more than four guys, five, something like that. Assaulting two unarmed civilians. They are assaulting them while they are carrying rifles. Hey, South Africa is not the land of the free. It's the land of the corrupt. Making sure that whatever they do, no one questions them. Because if I move on the road... You must know that I'm the protector of uh, the highest order. So if you don't move, we'll assault you. We know nobody's going to do anything to us. This is what I am getting from the whole video. If they don't take action, they're really insulting the people of South Africa. But because they've been insulting us for so many months, so many years, we are not surprised. But really, we must be tired of the way this government is doing in South Africa. How are you going to fight crime when you are the one who who is actually committing crime? The protectors of crime are committing crime. 
And the same protectors of crime who are committing crime are also the protectors of... Uh, let me not talk too much. Next thing, you are being uh, sued for using the corrupt weight. But guys, I really didn't like what I saw on the video. And I hope measures can be taken. Because at the end of the day, South Africans don't want to see people who are supposed to protect them, assaulting them. Lock those guys, throw away the key there in Robben Island. The ghost of Robben Island will take care of it. Anyway, guys, thank you for tuning into the channel. And until next time. Cheers.